I don't know if any of you have seen our new uh, billet deflectors. They are super nice, but to get the most out of it, we're going to add a couple holes in the muffler. Not going to be crazy loud or anything like that. But let's uh, pull the muffler off and drill the holes, and we'll show you the after. So, pretty easy to get the muffler off. Just take the uh, four screws out. When I built the saw, I used a little Loctite on the bolt, so not as easy getting them out. I can never be too sure. Now, note to self, uh, go ahead and take the uh, bar off next time. Make it a little easier to get to the muffler bolts on the bottom. But hey, usually, in my case, uh, Shortcut usually costs me twice as much time, so we'll uh, hope for the best on this one. Okay, hopefully you can hear me over the air compressor. That should turn off shortly. Most of the time when you pull these off, the gasket can be reused. You see here there's no big tearing of the, uh, I guess the leaded part of the, of the gasket, so that's fine. It's already got our billet muffler deflector on it. We'll just take that off. Just like that. Here's what we're starting with. Okay, so here's what we ended up with. Six holes total. One each quarter around the main tube. Two in the back. I don't put a hole in the center. Technically, that's a good way to get flow, but it's much louder that way. This kind of keeps it a little bit quieter. Where most of your flow is coming deflecting off the backside deflector before turning and coming out. These are only the direct holes out, so these two holes in the back, if you made these any bigger, they would definitely um, create more noise. But that was a uh, 3 16 drill bit, so all four holes 3 16 We'll put it back together. Oh, one more thing. Uh, remember, rinse this guy out really well. Make sure there's no shavings in here. You don't want to get any shavings back into your engine. Um, it's it's going to always blow out, but you know it's just tough because it gets stuck under the spark deflector. What if you left shavings in there, but it's always better just to wash it out real good, and then uh, blow it out with some compressed air when you're done. Okay, there's the finished muffler. Got our billet deflector on there, extra holes. I do keep the spark arrestor on. It's minimal flow loss with the spark arrestor, no reason to take it off. As dry as things are nowadays, it's better to have it and not need it than need it and not have it, because uh, it'd be a bad thing to set something on fire that you didn't mean to. All right, my bolts are back together. Put Loctite on all my bolts. We'll go for a cut. All right, we're back. 
uh, definitely louder than it was. Still not obnoxious though. It's a good balance of uh, airflow and noise. So, see you in the cut. <laughs> Cuts like a champ. Uh, don't forget, this is pressure treated pine, so looks like it's cut a little bit slow. This stuff is the most gummy stuff I've ever seen, so uh, definitely good load test on the saw. But this was just regular old pine tree, you would have probably done that in at least half the time. All right, stay tuned for more mods on the CS590 and other saws.